Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in tonight's video is this wild boar. Somebody posted on Facebook and actually posted this clip art. And I've already done it for him. And he, I think it was a plasma cutter because it was off the CNC site. So that's why if you notice my table is 48 inches by 48 inches. So the biggest mistake most people make, and I used to make it, you can see how little the clip art is. Keep it little. Don't blow it up. Just zoom in so you can closely look at it. If you blow it up, Corel Draw, in my opinion, has more trouble working with it. And we only need the bottom pick, so we're going to make it easy on ourselves and Corel Draw, and we're just going to crop it because we only want that guy. Now, this wild pig is about 3.6, so we want to set our nudge factor for to 4, and you'll see why in just a second. Now we're going to bitmap trace, outline, clip art. It does it really fast. It's got some watermarks on it, but it's easily fixed. Press OK. We're going to move over four inches. Now that's real important. We're going to select him and we're going to ungroup it. We're going to group it to, or select it all and we're going to put a boundary and we're going to move the boundary over four inches. Now there's other things we could fix yet, but we need to get this ear so I'm going to put a red hairline around it and I'm going to move it four inches we need his eye I'm going to move it over four inches now I want to zoom in because his eye was so little that it's got some hidden things so I'm going to put an outline around it now he's got some gray inside there that we need to get rid of and the best way to probably get rid of it because we were going to look at our yellow box trick would be to move it out of the way four inches. Let's zoom in here. See the gray? We'll click on it and we'll go no fill in the red hairline. Now we've got just the deal. We're going to move it back four inches. See, that's why you need to keep your nudge distance the same. There's a couple other problems with this. He's got an ear that's off. You could do several things. You could take your shape tool and move the whole thing down, or you could just move a couple of these nodes down. Take your virtual segment delete key, which is under the crop, and delete these lines. Same thing with his legs. His legs are separated in the clip art, so they're kind of separated here. I wouldn't think you'd want these things separated, so grab his leg break curve apart let's just move that leg there and let's just move this leg here it doesn't really matter I think it, it's your drawing now you're gonna make it a little bit different now if you're a I don't like that corner right there but for the video that's gonna be good uh, there's a couple other problems his tusk are separated probably don't want that in the you know don't really need it uh, if you're plasma cutting this, I would get rid of some of these nodes and make it a little rounder, make his corners a little rounder of his nose. Uh, you know, these are too close together. You know, plasma cutter, if you're not familiar, gets really, really hot and uh, is going to burn some stuff away. So rounded corners are best. Uh, these are too close together, so let's just move them out of the way. You could actually delete some of those. Get your handles and make those lines a little bit further apart. And there's a number of things you could continue doing to this thing. And I'm not going to take the time in the video to do them. Uh, but he looks good. Now what we'll do, we'll take our, do our yellow box trick. Draw a rectangle, fill it in with yellow. Put it in the back of the page. Get your pick tool and put it over. Just to make sure there's nothing. And you can see it right there, or I can. His ear has something in it and the center of his eye. So we have to click off and click on his ear and hit delete. What we're going to have to do is put no fill on that particular item. Let's look at his eye. Same thing. Take his eye and put no fill. Anyway, now you got a good clean sharp image that would cut either in your laser or your plasma cutter and then take a, just to make it look better we'll take away the outline or 
fill him in with black and take away that red outline and um, you still got an outline because there's two copies there but that looks a pretty good you know you can imagine what it looks like cut out I'd play with his teeth a little bit that looks a little funny but you get the idea so from taking it from that with all the lines and watermarks um, it's a pretty neat drawing. I hope he cuts it out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope that helped.